Hi everyone this is Ravi welcome to Tricentis Tasca API automation tutorial as you all know i have already published eight lessons covering the topics that are required to automate our rest services by using Tricentis Tasca so from this lesson onwards i'm going to start teaching you how can we automate soap xml services by using tricentis tasca okay so this is our lesson 9 which is part 1 of api soap automation in this lesson i'm going to teach you how can we scan the soap services and then how can we execute the operations related to soap xml services and how can we analyze the scan results api scan results so let us see what is our lesson objective our lesson objective is first you learn what is the difference between soap and rest services and then we are going to scan the demo web shop application so that we can download all the services that are available in the system and then i'm going to show you how can we execute soap services by using tricentis tasca and then we are going to analyze the api scan results first difference between soap and rest services what is soap soap nothing but simple object access protocol soap and what is the medium does this use this uses the medium of http medium and then the leveraging method is we use only one method which is called post method and this soap services supports the files in the format of xml and coming to rest services what do you mean by rest services representational state transfer and the medium it uses http medium and following are the different leveraging methods which are post put get and delete methods these are the most popular methods that we use for rest services whereas for soap services we use only post method and what are the supported files the rest services are supported by xml json or text files and we are going to see in this lesson we will scan the demo web shop and see how to steer it using soap api and not using user interface so i have already published lot of videos related to web automation by using tricentis tasca so in web automation we used demo web shop user interface but here in api automation tutorial we are going to use the same demo web shop but we will be using the soap api services related to demo web shop instead of user interface and this eliminates by using soap api services instead of user interface you can eliminate user interface loading time and it increases the stability control identification not needed that means you need not to identify the objects that are required for your web automation and this is not affected by any screen resolution because we are using api services so following is the url that you need to use to scan your api services this is the uri that we are going to use to scan all the api services so here what we are going to do first we are going to scan the below uri for our demo web shop and then we are going to identify all the soap operations that need to be executed to automate our end to end test case and then it is best practice to rename the messages as per the business flow 
with sequence order as we did in our earlier sessions for the rest services right the same method we need to follow as APS scan automatically orders the messages alphabetically so as I told you APS scan generally sorts your messages in alphabetical order and then for SOAP we will be entering the username and password instead of access key if you remember correctly in our previous sessions related to rest services we have used the access key to access your rest services but here for SOAP services we are going to use username and password to access all the SOAP services now let us go to our Tricentis task and perform following steps first we are going to create component folder in task commander before we scan the URL let's go to Tricentis task this is my Tricentis task I'm going to create a new component folder I'm going to name this as REST API automation okay so this is my rest api automation once that is done create a new project in api scan by closing the old one so now just select the component folder just now we created okay and then open your api scan and here we need to create a new project by closing the old project okay so this is our api scan you can close the existing project so that it opens your new project in my case it opened a new project only now i want to delete the existing folder okay let's go back to our presentation now delete empty folder and scan the URF demo web shop so now what I'm going to do here, I want to delete this empty folder. I want to re rename this project as API, sorry, SOAP API automation. Okay. Now, once you rename this, now you need to scan the URL. This is the URL we'll be using. Copy this. And come back to your Tricentis task API scan. So, how to scan? You already know in my previous session, I have already explained it. Click on URI and paste the URI here. Click on OK. So, now it imports all the services related to your demo web shop shopping panel or demo web shop e commerce website. So if you see here, these are all the multiple services. I can see almost like 10 plus services got imported. Now, what we are going to do, we need to, as I told you, we need to rename the project to demo web shop. Let me rename this project to demo web shop. Demo web shop. Done. So I've renamed the web project to demo web shop and then now change the name of operations and messages that we need according to the business flow so in the upcoming sessions i'm going to cover some more parts right part two part three where we'll be completing entire automation of your soap services so to complete the automation of soap services we are going to use the following four services get address add to cart create order get order collection now we want to rename these in a sequence order so that the order will be placed in a numerical prefix whatever we provide for the services so for get address i would like to rename let i'm going to rename this operation as 01 get address the same way i'm going to rename this also as 01 get address 
Okay. So once that is done, now let us rename the next one. Add to cart. I'm going to rename this as zero to add to cart. Add to cart. Rename zero to add to cart. Then I'm going to rename service also zero to add to cart. Now that's that is done. And then I would like to rename create order as zero three create order. Create order. 3 create order. Let me rename this as 3 create order. And then I need to rename get order collection as 04 verify order placement. Get order collection because actually we are going to verify the order placement. So here rename this as 04 verify order placement. I renamed this as verify order placement. Here, this one also 04 verify order placement. So, done. So, if you see here now, all the services are in sequence order. Correct? So, we are done. So, that when you export these services, required services to your Tricentis task or commander to automate the test cases, these will be in the sequence order. Okay, so that is done. And then, so now let us go to our um, services. Let's see now, let us execute this. Okay, the so first service is get address. What I'm going to do here to get the address you need to provide your username and password so i'm going to provide my username and then i'm going to provide the password now as soon as i run this service i should get the address see this is the address that is associated to this user okay when you register demo web shop right as a user you need to provide the address so this is the address that i provided while registering as a user now add to cart if you go to add to cart here you need to provide sku as blue jeans because i would like to add a blue jeans to the cart i'm adding blue jeans to the cart so what does this service do this service will add the blue jeans to the cart and then let us provide the quantity as 4 and here your product attribute id can be left as it is but here you can simply provide username and password let me provide my username and password Now you can run this service add to cart. It's going to add your blue jeans into the cart. We can't run. So now I got 200 OK. That means my blue jeans is added to cart. And then I'm going to create the order. Let's go to create order. Go to request. Here for creating the order, you need to provide the payment method. You need to provide the shipping method all these details right you need to provide the payment method name as payments dot purchase order so you need to follow the same naming convention payment dot purchase order okay this is your payment method payment dot purchase order is the payment method and what is the shipping method name it's a ground so shipping method name is ground Right now, what is the billing address and shipping address? So, billing address and shipping address that you need to get from the first service. Let's go to first service. Here, in the response, 
you have a aid right you need to provide this aid in billing address and shipping address so here billing address and shipping address let's go here sorry create order in the create order here billing address you need to take the aid from your first request which is get order response right from your get address response you need to take the aid and then here you need to provide again your username and then your password and simply run this service so it says payment method does not exist let's see what is the payment method that we entered payments so we did a small mistake here payments dot purchase order now click on run now your order should be placed see now i my order is placed successfully i got the 200 okay and then verify order placement so this verify order placement we need not to execute but anyway in our next session for the part two we are going to export all these let me save this okay we are going to export all these services to your task commander and then we are going to automate your test cases while automating your test cases i'm going to verify the latest order that we placed just now correct so anyway so in the upcoming session part two we are going to see how can you export all the APA scan results that we just now saw. Okay. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I will try to respond to your queries. Hope you all understand the concepts of this lesson where you have seen the difference between the SOAP and REST services and also we have scanned the demo web shop application to import all the services and operations that are available in the system and also we have seen how can you execute the soap services and how can you analyze the api scan results by using tricentis task -com. please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos. Thank you.